Now, Krishan has tatted blue face on her face, whether it's permanent ink or wet and stick ink. It really doesn't matter. Um, whether it's that, you know, rinse it under the water and you put it in, press it down. Whether it's one of those or whether it's real, she wants the... Uh, they, she wants social media to really, really respond to this. So we're going to respond in true, real tattoo manner, whether it's wet and stick or permanent ink, and go on from there. Hey, what's up, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And this video is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Now, I was not going to do no other video on Krishan unless she did something else extreme. Now, a lot of people have been wanting me to talk about her moving into Blueface House. And I told y'all, I'm going to do a video on that when she's crying on the internet when he kicks her out. That's when I'm going to do a full breakdown on that situation. However, I did tell my night owls in the background, if she does something extreme, I will talk about it. And this right here is another antic of extreme nature. Now, she has now tattooed blue face on her face. And it's getting really weird at this point, or it's been weird. But this is what happens when you coddle bird behavior and you don't hold your faves accountable. Now, I just did a live talking about Nicki Minaj and how her barbs don't hold her accountable when she's crashing out. And this is the same thing for the rock tards. Now, her crush animals have been unfollowing her at a large rate. But they still, for the majority of them, are not holding her accountable for the behavior that she is doing, the attention-seeking that she is doing. And it's really getting out of hand at this point. Now, I want to show some of the comments of people talking about this. All right, so here are some of the comments under Spiritual World. I just barely posted my post, so the engagement ain't engaging right now. But um, so somebody said she's doing this ish for attention. This uh, this the only thing that keeps her relevant Says how do I remove them from socials? Enough is enough. God bless her soul. Y'all the same ones that support her and watch her show and stuff. Y'all are a part of the circus. Another person says she likes pain. I pray she seeks mental help. Ain't that much love in the world. Girl, I agree. Um, another person says, didn't she just remove him off her neck? Um, that was for show. And if you didn't know that that was for show, then now you know. Um, okay, so another person says, she needs to be getting inpatient services. This is not well. Another person says, away from me with this. We have rent to worry about. Another person says, he did voodoo on this girl. Or how about hold her accountable? He didn't do no voodoo on her. Why, if, if he do voodoo on people... Why Jaden not acting like this? Voodoo where? Huh? Chaba. Hold her accountable. Another person says, whoever keeps doing these tats needs to get locked up. She needs to seek help, mental illness. Lord, I'm tired. What was the reason? Another person says, he and they're getting bent. And you out here doing this ish, I'm so done. Mind you, Blueface has been doing plenty of jail calls where he want to talk about soldier boy he want to talk about anybody else he has yet to do a jail call and even publicly claim her or as little as claim junior now do i think that he is pillow talking her absolutely do i think that he's doing what he needs to do because i believe that he needs her to recant her statement because of this probation violation and getting her in his good graces making her feel like everything is comfy cozy then i feel like that's what he is doing period but has he claimed her at all no that's embarrassing like if even if you have a what's understood don't need to be explained type of situation that's cool but that doesn't work in this situation where he has disrespected you disrespected your child publicly gone on several rants to disown your child say that he's not his and embarrass you this is the type of situation where publicly if you're going to be doing all of this publicly to try to show your allegiance to him publicly the least he could do is one of those bs jail calls and at least claim you at the very least okay because even now even now he's still doing these jail calls and each time he does a jail call he puts up a link to Jaden's music video 
Barbie. So he's still promoting Jaden while he's behind bars, while Krishan is publicly claiming him and doing all this stuff. He is still going on jail calls to respond to Soldier Boy and with it have a link to go to Jaden's thing. And the money for Jaden may be going to his pocket, but at the same time, him promoting her is still giving her visibility, it's still giving her promotion, and it's still helping her bottom line. He has yet to promote anything that Krishan did, shout her out or anything. So to publicly crash out in the name of Blueface when he's not even supporting your career, quote unquote, he ain't promoting your junior junior music video or anything like this this looks silly and everything is all well and good now like you know you doing um shows and stuff like that cool but now she's even saying that she's not even doing shows because remember according to blueface doing certain shows if if you're not the only person on the bill or the headliner on the bill, then it was beneath you. Now she's back to not even taking bookings and saying that she wants to just stay in the house and that's what she gonna do for her man. Don know what he did was out of spite. It was the get back at Krishan. Like y'all knew the get back was crazy. Y'all knew me fucking with other people was alternative. Y'all knew him fucking with other people was alternative. So for us to be magically back, y'all be like, okay, so what he did he He's in jail. He's paying for, he's paying for, what, what now? Like, it approved? You know how deep my pockets are? Deep enough to have this whole life rich. That's how much money I got, yeah? Yeah. So if I want to take off bookings, if I want to be on lockdown, and yeah, I live at his house. Yes, I do. You know why? Because we both want the same thing. Remember every time I kept saying, behind closed doors, he fixed what he needed to fix. So, that being said, y'all know how I ride and slide for niggas I love? And y'all know, and then y'all know if, this the thing about it, none of this is forced so it's like it's given he's her god at this point and it's really it's really sad okay it's really sad at this point and it's sad that y'all coddle it and make excuses for it period so now some of the comments on my comment are cook are on oh, my post are starting to cook okay they coming on in so let me go here and read some of these that are from the night owls Somebody said, this is so sad. Another person says, please, please, please tell me how I can block her. And from anyone posting her, I'm so effing over it. I wonder what the rock tards got to say about this one. Girl, they just going to make an excuse and they're going to blame Blueface like the other person tried to say that he did voodoo on her. They're going to try to make a way to blame Blueface for it. And another person says she's a bird brain. Let me see if any other blogs have posted it. And what's on what's going on with the side of her hair? Is that is is the bald spot on the side? Is that from when he pulled her hair out? Is the hair just not growing and she tattooed in sideburns? Is that what that is? Tattooed in hair on the side? Like what is going on with that? Anyways, so let me go to another blog because I know the other blogs are posting it because, you know, we like engagement, okay? We post what gets the girls talking. She know he don't want her. Now y'all y'all want to unfollow her and bail on her. Now you're supposed to be standing in the gap. Now is when you're supposed to be showing her love. Not, not yesterday. Today. Don't unfollow her now. She's gone. Y'all pushed her over the ledge. With a mama and a daddy. Luckily, I have my daddy, so I, I can't speak for her all the way. But that love is what made y'all stronger. That love is what told y'all don't write on your face. Okay? That love is what told you. Y'all done let the money go to her head. She done forgot where she came from. She done forgot her family. She damn near forgot the baby. I'm going to be honest. Okay? Y'all told her, go get a baby by him. Remember? Go get a baby by him. And I'm having more babies. So. And spank me pregnant every year. Like <laughs> 10 years straight. 11 years straight. <laughs> and I 
already told me. It ain't only mine when you get home. Cutting it off and feeding it to his dog, Batman. And then I'm dipping. And then I'm never looking back. We got one more last chance for me. And I got one more last chance for him. So that's that. Them demons. Them is some demons she need unpacked, okay? She need a deliverance. She need a man who know how to wake up and hum daddy, say hum daddy over her every day. Do Jonathan look like the man for the job, y'all? Now you know Jonathan ain't about to get up and walk that girl through every day. That shit's gonna take about five years for somebody with them type of patience and that agape type of love, okay? Jonathan ain't ready for that. She need a motherfucker about 40 years old. Okay, that's that, then she need a daddy love. Jonathan ain't nobody daddy. He barely Javon and Journey and Junior's daddy. He can't be her daddy. So this is from the neighborhood talk they just posted it right here let's see what they comments is talking about what's it giving somebody said it's nothing anyone can do for her just pray she see the light one day no way she just ruined her face for a man who doesn't even care about her is there any way that i can block anything krishan and blueface related even the birds have brains wow <laughs> um being this dumb should be a crime. Krishan is the biggest cloud chaser since 6 9 And this, let me put a like on that. Because, period, that's for real. Somebody said, I know Jaden somewhere cracking up. What did that man do to her to have her this obsessed with him? Again, another person blaming him, child, when you need to hold her accountable. Let's see what people saying to her in the comments. It's not him. It's her self-esteem, witchcraft. They're both emotionally damaged, child, please. Anyways, uh, another person says, let me tell you this from the bottom of my heart. This will be the last time I comment and entertain any of this beautiful young lady's games. At this point, it's truly clear that she is completely based off of attention clout and she does any and everything for attention. I have no more prayers, sympathy or positive words for her. And if it took you this tattoo to realize that she does a lot of stuff for attention, then baby child i'm gonna need you to sharpen your your uh your your your, your mind okay because it, everything has been for attention and when she gets online and she starts crying saying how he used her while she was in jail he made her think that they was going to be together and in a relationship i don't want to hear nothing i don't want to hear nothing because y'all y'all i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it period so Let's read some more, child. Might as well make this a 10-minute video. Why not? Okay, so it says she really needs mental health counseling, and it's not pushed enough. She's trying to compete with Nikki and Meg because she ain't getting enough attention. Ooh, okay. Um, This person says, can this be y'all last post of her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, even me, I stopped posting her as much. I, I didn't even post the move-in because... It was attention seeking. The move in post was attention seeking. And I kid you not, I got to find my DMs. I knew that this was going to escalate. Her attention seeking behavior was going to escalate. And I told my night owls that that's the, that's the starter attention seeking right there. Okay. She's going to do something to escalate it. It's going to get extreme. And then that's when I'll cover it. And so it's going to get even more extreme than this. And then she's going to play victim in a couple months when he's not the wholesome family man that she wants him to be but like i told y'all last time i think it's i think it's a pregnancy brewing and that is gonna be her excuse he's my baby dad um we're gonna be a family um this this that this this that and that's what it's given and it's crazy another person says she's nothing without blue face that's the only way she's relevant. You want a man more than your child is so weird, crazy, insane. You really need positive people around you. Stop. I, I wish y'all would stop trying to say that she don't have positive people around her because she does. She don't listen to them at all. She has a whole uh, sister-in-law who was doing positive affirmations, speaking life into her telling her positive things and everything. And she does what she wants to do because she feels like she got more money than them 
she know what she got to do for her life. And Blueface is the one who helped her get said money. So therefore, there's nothing that y'all broke beast can do to tell her because the man who's responsible for her being a, a somebody is the one who is her God. So there are people who tell her positive things, but what's higher than God? <laughs> okay. Like, what's your words going to do higher than God? In her eyes, Blueface is a God. She worshiping him, been worshiping him, been putting him above her baby, above everything. Because if a man did half of the stuff that Blueface did, there's no way in H-E double hockey sticks would a protective mother still continue to put their child in the proximity of a person that's only bringing harm to the mother and the child with his antics. No, mom that puts her child first does that a person who puts the man first and above all does that okay and age has nothing to do with it okay she's about to be 24 in a month or so and age has nothing to do with it okay period like y'all need to stop with the age stuff this this don't come from no 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 Another person says, Jaden won in real life. So speaking of Jaden, let me go back to my profile. Jaden is chilling, unbothered, okay? Jaden is over there dropping merch, okay? She got a whole merch line that she is promoting that she's about to drop. And it say, Ho's Mad, and it's her, and she got t-shirts, thongs, and all that. And she moved on with a, a chick and they've been popping out and they've been doing them and they've been making vlogs and YouTube videos and all of that. Not not craving attention from the blogs, just living and chilling. Bookie wanted to get Bookie wanted to get a chamoy pickle <laughs> and some noodles that TikTok challenge stuff. So Bookie gets what Bookie wants. Let's read another hate comment. Jaden, your head is big as Jaden, your head is big as f bitch, and your bitch ugly. Oh! Damn, they came for you too, so I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. And so this person commented under their vlog, because they had like a vlog where they had went to the grocery store, and they were trying out like pickles or something. And then somebody in the comments has said, unpopular opinion, Jaden is who we thought Krishan would be without Blue. She's growing on me. Not that I disliked her. She's just showing her personality more, so I can actually say if I like her or not. Not saying she cares either before y'all do too much. So this is clearly a rock tart who had no reason to dislike her in the first place. But they're basically saying like, dang, this is what I wish Krishan would have did. Like left Blueface, got with somebody else, flourished and, and popped out and did their own thing or whatever. That's pretty much what she was wishing for Krishan. But she sees that all along, Jaden was never the problem. Okay. And um, a person in the comments replied, and they said, um, no, stop worshiping Krishan. Y'all was just, and I guess I cut it off, but they said that y'all was just basically dragging Jaden a few weeks ago. That's kind of what they said. But anyways, that's all for this video. I just wanted to make a quick video on that. Um, again, for the people who've been wanting me to go live about the, um, the people who've been wanting me to go live about the move out um like i told y'all in my dms i'll talk about it in detail with receipts once she's crying on live because she's going to, when he gets out and that fantasy world that they're creating on on the phone fizzles out and the real reality of her and the baby and all that comes with all of that is really sitting in and they're really in each other's face for real She's going to be crying on live, and I'm telling you now, she's going to be crying. She's going to be saying, he used me. I was down for him. I paid his rent. I was holding everything down. I left my crib and all of this stuff, and now, you know, he left me and put, like, child, that's what it's going to give. And I told y'all, Blueface is not going to end up with neither one of them, okay? When it's all said and done. He's not going to be with Krishan. He's not going to be with Jaden. There's going to be a third person added to the circus. And it is what it is. I'll talk to y'all on the next one. Y'all tell me what y'all think down below. And we're out.